it's one <laughs> that's really gonna blow your mind but then again it probably isn't uh, body camera footage uh, of a man that was arrested the uh, deputies deputies mistake a cane for a weapon and I'm gonna show you what a cane is this and the visually impaired man was arrested now this took place I had someone had sent me this I'm gonna put the link in the description uh, this took place in Florida now according to what I gathered out, out of the video the uh, officer there were two officers first of all it was a female officer that rolled up on him and uh, she stated that um, the weapon that he had in the back in his back pocket looked like a um, looked like a gun so they went back and forth the guy and the, and the police officer went back and forth he, he asked he asked her uh, well, uh, if, she, if she's a tyrant and she says uh, yeah anyway I am and she said she was uh, doing an investigation but um, I guess he had cut off in the process because they were they were talking back and forth but in any who she um, was stating that can you you know explain to me what it is or show me what it is or tell me what it is and, and at some point he uh, told her that it was a cane and, I'm, and uh, I'm guessing he pulled it out and showed it to her but she was still you know asking him questions asked for his ID and all this other stuff and she said he asked was he under arrest he said she said yeah uh, was he being detained? He said, he, he said yeah, and um, she asked for his uh, his information. He didn't want to give it to her because he felt that there was no need. After he explained to her and showed her that, that this, this was a cane, so they went back and forth, back and forth. And he asked, "Where is your supervisor?" And not being able to see too well, she said, "Oh, he's standing right here." So um, one thing led to another. He went on and said, he asked uh, the, the gentleman, oh, what have you been arrested for? And he said, because I had a walking stick. He said he was, he was going to jury duty and it was nighttime and it was canceled. So he was, you know, it's, you know sometimes if you're visually impaired, you, you still could see, but still you need your, your cane to get around. And he said he was um, using his walking stick to uh, move about and whatnot. And she you know one thing led to another he ended up asking him for his id and what have you and at that, that point he was arrested so he asked for uh information he ended up giving it to her and ran the um they ran the information and you know they had a little more chatter back and forth but the uh, uh, the female officer in, in you know was basically being a, a dick about the whole situation i mean after he the gentleman who uh i'm gonna keep his name you know out of the video stated that uh, it was a cane, it wasn't a weapon, he, he exposed it, showed it to her, it should have been over with, but um, when they ran the information and saw that it was, uh, everything was cleared, she was still being an asshole, and um, he asked for both of their uh, information, um, the, the names, you know, the badge numbers, which is what you were supposed to get. The supervisor then went on and stated, hey, I think we ought to arrest him for uh, resisting arrest. They put him in the cop car, arrested him, and took him downtown. Now, um, this was an unlawful arrest. His, his constitutional rights were violated. Uh, I read some of the comments that stated that the uh, the, the officer lied on the report, stating that he was a resisting he was resisting arrest. He uh, she didn't find out that it was a, a cane until he was he was actually arrested arrested and handcuffed things of the nature so basically I summed it up by saying this that that uh, visually impaired people blind people are not uh, excused from officers who do not do their job accordingly now this could have been uh, uh, diffused after the individual explained to them it was a cane and everything it should have been diffused it should have went on but uh, they had to throw their weight around now, I'm going to come back in a, uh, another video and, and let y'all know exactly what happened, but I'm going to put the link so you can actually see what happened so you can uh, make a judgment for yourself. But it just, just goes to show you, again, like whether you're blind, visually impaired, whether you have any type of impairment, you're still not excused from uh, any wrongdoings by the police. I think this guy was way in his rights to do what he had to do, and these people, these policemen went over the board. So check it out. Let me know what you think about it.